I'm really excited to show you uh, an addition that we've made, an improvement that we've made to what's nearly perfect anyway, you know, our ultimate off-road camper, in particular the Nexus. This is a prototype that hasn't been seen uh, on, uh, on the internet, it hasn't been seen anywhere before. Uh, this is the first. How's that? Uh, well, we can't tell you too much, but we're working on a system for the uh, for the X series to be able to assist some of our customers with the opening and closing. So, like with our Nautilus system, we have the uh, the, the automated opening using actuators. We've been working on a similar system also for the X series. So, come and have a look. Now. Just if you have a look at our lids to start with, these lids, they're all designed to weigh in at about the same amount, 52 kilos. And you know, they're, they're a pretty lightweight lid. And when, they're, when they've got the gas strut added to it, then the effort to open and close our campus is pretty minimal. For some people with sore shoulders uh, or getting a bit older, or even with older campers uh, with the heavier lids, been finding it quite difficult to continue to open and close every night and so that's what we're trying to address. So what you can see here is we're removing the gas strut. We've already drilled a couple of extra holes here and we're going to be mounting a different mounting system to suit our automatic opening actuator. So we're just showing you a bit of this in progress. So here we have Ross. Ross is uh, our technical uh, guy on this particular project and the amount of uh, maths and calculations he's been doing to ensure that this particular function of the ultimate performs really well is absolutely gobsmacking. Okay, well what we have here uh, we've been developing for some time. Uh, it's basically come out of a, a requirement that some of our customers are asking for these days. Some of our existing customers with older camper trailers. They still want to continue adventuring around the country, but they're finding that uh, they don't have the strength they used to have uh, for opening and closing the lid. Now, appreciate our new lids are, are quite light. They're only 52 kilos, and there's not a lot of effort when the gas strut is on uh, for people to do that, but it, it depends on the individual. And for the individuals, we've developed an automatic opening system. Now, uh, it still functions very much the same as the gas strut, except with this, you get to push a button, a remote key fob. With that key fob, we can push that button and that lid will go up to vertical. We can pull it over that point and lower it down with the actuator and tuck it in, stop it and start it and tuck it in as you usually would do. When it comes to opening, you only have to undo the three catches and push the key fob buttons and that'll open completely uh, without any assistance from you at all. Now, a lot of people are going to be pretty keen to be able to hear this and see this and touch and feel it at, at the Rose Hill Super Show. That's where we hope to be able to show you. But this is the first. How's that? No, actually the real action here is going to happen behind me. So, as you can see, I'm opening it whilst having a nice coldie. A lot of our customers find that opening and closing the camper, our ultimates with the gas strut assistance, is easy as. But some of our customers over the years have, uh, have found that it's becoming more difficult for them and they've asked about being able to automate. And so this is what we've developed. This, what I'm about to show you, is, is what we've created for you. It's pretty much a standard sort of a setup. So it's important that we put the stabilizer legs down, level the camper beforehand, if need be. Down with the stairs. And opening the back door to release pressure on the top seal. And at that point, still as standard, we release the catcher securing the lid. And then, and 
instead of up the stairs and pushing the lid over, we, we now only have to hit the button and nice remote button and the lid is taken up and over. Now it's important of course as per any setup that you make sure that you've got clearance overhead and we just fit nicely into the bush here. The actuator ramp will push it up so far over its point of balance and then we can simply lower it down into position. Now once we've done that, I'm going to head up the stairs now. Where we step inside, snap the spreader bars into place. You've seen it all before.